I think during pregnancy, you go in, and I think at least for a black woman, or at least from my perspective, what I want is good care, but I also don't want judgment on my situation. We talk about it in terms of understanding the context of a black woman's life and understanding that it's different, um, but not making the assumption that everybody's life is the same. There is diversity in this thing that we call race. There have got to be some folks who are sitting out there thinking, I don't, I don't need training. I'm a good person. What, what do I need to be trained for? I treat all my patients the same. We make an assumption as healthcare providers that we treat everybody the same. The evidence shows that that is not the case. You know, people of color, African-American women still have, get less access to preventive care. Um, the, if you look at quality measures by race, which is what we need to do, um, that's not borne out. The doctor may be the captain of the ship, but it's certainly other people that need to be on that ship for it to be a successful, comprehensive encounter. And are there behavioral health professionals that this doctor has a relationship with? So if there is something going on that really needs a deeper conversation, that the um, mother can have that conversation with somebody that is well-trained to talk about those things. I think that it is a process. It is an ongoing process of not only understanding the person that you're dealing with, but also your own biases and, and or your blind spots. And I would just say, seize the momentum of where we are right now. Uh, I do think that this is the time, uh, again, COVID has been a great teacher in so many ways. Um, the momentum that has come with the racial injustices that we've seen, um, you know, like what happened with George Floyd, like people are ready for some change and you can't miss a moment. When people are ready, that is absolutely the time to act. So I am optimistic that this is our time. Agree, agree.